Life's like a movie, write your own ending, keep believing, keep pretending. What's going on, Internet? Welcome to the first ever edition of Matt Cohen Plays With Himself, a vlog where I review new video games that I've played with myself. Yeah. I've been doing YouTube videos for a while now, and I noticed I might be doing them wrong. Because there's one thing in common with all the popular vlogs I see on the web, and that's quick cuts. I usually tend to ramble on, and I think I'm going to start, you know, chopping for the good bits. Like, I might cut this next part out and cut right to Tomb Raider, the brand new game for PS3 that I had the pleasure of uh, playing and beating, starring everyone's favorite buxom video game babe, Lara Croft, or Lara, as they call her in this game. For years I've been correcting people that it's Lara, and finally, I'm the asshole. This game is a reboot of the Tomb Raider franchise, and in it you play a young Lara Croft, about 18 years old, so don't worry fellas, she's illegal, uh, who finds herself in her first ever adventure. Now, uh, when the game starts, she's just a bumbling college student. I say bumbling because I, I think that of all college students, but she's actually got her shit together. Lara convinces her friend Sam and a whole crew of other people who we don't really know how she meets some message boards. 4chan, 9chan, some kind of chan, chin chan, chan pokemon, chan si, channing tatum. So basically Lara and her crew, which is made up of her friend Sam, a, uh, a perky college student with a camera, an old salty captain type, a, uh, a British veteran of war, uh, from what we assume, who's got some kind of history with Lara, a big Samoan dude, an annoying lady, and a nerdy guy who looks a lot like Harry Potter and or Dylan Moran, who look a lot like each other. Lara and her crew are searching for this mysterious island, which supposedly holds the relics to some ancient Japanese culture, which uh, was run by a sun queen, who apparently could control the weather, and for centuries has been uh, turning this one area of the Pacific Ocean into the real Bermuda Triangle. Basically, ships, planes, trains, horses... Hover boats, inflatable raft things, slip and slides, all kinds of stuff get washed up on shore, nothing can make it on, uh, except for, unfortunately, Lara and her friends, who find themselves shipwrecked on an island with mysterious strangers. I don't want to give too much away about the story, but needless to say, I dug it. Now, there's been a lot made about this apparent um, rape scene in the, in, the, in the game, and I don't want to get too controversial here. I didn't see it. So, um, yeah, there's some moments of, like, male menacing, but it's Lara, and they're bad guys, and she's in the middle of the jungle. You know what I mean? So, don't read into things. Enough about the story, Matt. Let's get to the game, these guys say. I got a whole room of guys over here. The good news is this. The game is really, really, really fun. Now, I don't want to take anything away from Square Enix who put the title out, but it's pretty much Uncharted with Lara Croft, which, if you like Uncharted, is a good thing. I'm talking with my hands a lot. The game is action-packed, it moves really, really fast, there's some awesome set pieces, and it has one thing over Uncharted, which is the targeting system. Now, if you ever played the Uncharted games, I was not a fan of the weapons or uh, the actual targeting system itself. Tomb Raider, it's completely fine, it's fun. Everything about the game is really fun. Gameplay-wise, I have zero complaints. Uh, now, a lot of you might say, how are the puzzles, how are the puzzles... There aren't really puzzles, unfortunately. Think of it more like Uncharted puzzles, where you'll go into a room and you'll need to get out of the room, and it'll take ten minutes, but nothing like the old PC Tomb Raiders where you'd be stuck in a, in a, in a uh, dungeon for, for days, if not weeks. If not, you're still stuck in there now. You haven't seen your kids or family in years because you're still trying to get that jade stone thing to put in the tiger head thing. Uh-oh, it's a wolf and a bear. I love Tomb Raider. So the game is fun. Light on puzzles, heavy on action. For someone who starts the game as an inexperienced college student, by the end of it, Lara clicks up quite the body count. And that's another thing I really like about the game, is the, is the learning curve. Now, while you have access to most of Lara's uh, signature moves from the get-go, the character itself isn't as sure as performing them as she will be later in the games. And it makes sense, because this is young Lara, it's her first adventure, and she wouldn't know how to walk across a log that's resting on a chasm 800 feet in the air, or how to do a triple backflip off a wall and land onto a bear's head. There are no bears in this game. There are wolves, though. They're close. They're both mammals. Mammals have fur. Mammals make milk. I'm a mammal. I don't make milk. 
Playthrough-wise, the game's about 11, 12 hours if you do it in one shot like I did. Uh, but there's a bunch of extras to go back and get. Once you beat the game, it opens up kind of a sandbox feel, and you can revisit some of the levels you've gone through, which a lot of people are saying reminds them of the older Tomb Raiders. There's no one shooting at you. It's just jumping and puzzles and hanging and all that good stuff. So, on a ranking system of palms, hey -o, Tomb Raider gets four out of five palms. Really, really, really fun game. Nothing groundbreaking. However, it's a great new start to the franchise, and it definitely makes me want to play the sequel right now. And there's a hint at where the next fran uh, installment will take place, and it is badass. So that was Matt Cohen plays with himself. I play with myself and myself and myself and myself. So that's the first ever Matt Cohen plays with himself. I do play with myself. And Tomb Raider for the PS3, which got four out of five palms. Very fun game. Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Fine summer fun, even though it's the winter. Uh, check back when I interview. Rim rup. Re rup. So check back next time when I review a new video game, possibly God of War, probably some iPhone app that involves me paying money for diamonds so I can buy hay bales. I gotta get this farm going, yo. I gotta feed my kids. Bye. I love bags and boards because I'm a fucking dork. I like bags and boards because I'm a fucking dork. I like bags and boards because I'm a fucking dork. My comic book collection gives me an erection. What?